Hello and welcome. This is Nate with Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. Today we are at uh, Homeboys in Spokane, Washington. Take a look at this four bedroom, two bath, double wide. Trust me, you're gonna like what you see inside. It's a very spacious home, very nice home. You got the uh, nice party board siding here. Not the vinyl siding. Gives you that uh, really great upgraded feel, upgraded look. Sorry about the wind out here. It's a little, uh, little windy. Also right next to a fairly busy highway, so hopefully the noise isn't too bad. Say thank you for clicking on the video. If you're liking these videos, don't forget to go down, smash that like button, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos. I'm currently uploading two times a week, every Wednesday, every Sunday. So we'll be real brief on the back side here. As you can see, they are fairly close together. Nice back door here. And you have plug-ins right next to your doors, both sides. Head on in and trust me, you're gonna like what you see. All right, so first thing we see when we walk in here, your living room area. Now when you do walk into this home, you do happen to see the kitchen area right when you walk in. So it's got a little bit of that wide open feel, but not entirely as you will see once we get started. You can see this has a nice big window letting in a ton of light. There is no light on in the living room yet. I'll post some uh, dimensions once we uh, get the floor plans and get started, or do the video editing, I should say. A big surprise down there. We'll get to that here in a little bit. So you got a nice size dining room area here. Nice blue accent wall. Continued up on the ceiling there. That uh, table is about uh, five and a half feet long. So we've got lots of room there. Then you've got a nice big kitchen. Like these countertops. Got a little recessed area in your counter here, your big island. Plenty of room to come in here and then you can reach everything while you're setting everything out. This is a four bedroom, so most likely you're gonna have a few kids. All right, here's breakfast. Nice dark stained cabinets. You got adjustable shelves in your cabinets here. Stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. Yeah. Looks like your subway tile backsplash goes all the way up to the tops of the, or the bottoms of your counters there. Give you an idea. You can see it. Uh, 
because it really recessed all the way up in there. Sorry, this big old window right here above your sink and making it hard to get that shot. But I do like the fact that it's a big farm sink. I'm more of a fan of the big sink versus the two smaller sinks. Nice side-by-side -side refrigerator. The ice maker kind of makes it a little difficult to get a shot in there, but... Uh, There's going to be your pantry, a little on the smaller side for this size of a home, but still usable and you could get the wooden shelving if you wanted to. Don't mind all the trim supplies there. So again, this is a show model, so you'll find trim supplies kind of stashed everywhere. Now we can either go through that door or we could go down this way. I think I'll go this way. Your coat closet here. I'm sure there's probably a light on in that I could turn on, but just real brief in your coat closet. Got a nice little desk already built in here. Got some counter or cabinet space above there. The one customer said they're not too happy with it, or they wouldn't option that in. Another customer said that they like that being there. Gives them a place to sit down and do their homework. So bedroom one, staged to be a, a little infant's room. Of course, this one is the closest to the master bedroom, even though they are separated from each other. We got four bedrooms down at this end of the home, plus a big surprise for you. So here's gonna be your closet. So at this end of the home, as I was saying, you've got four bedrooms and a surprise, plus you've got my big old master bedroom at the other end. Here's bedroom number three, or number two, I should say. Good sized bedroom. This is bigger than the one we were just in. Decent sized closet. We'll come over here to your laundry room. As we come into the laundry room, back behind there is going to be your hot water tank. Here's that door we were looking at from the dining room. Cabinets above for your washer and dryer. A little nook back here. Not sure what you would put in there. Your back door, obviously. I think if it was me, instead of having to walk out and just come over here to take your shoes off and hang your coats up, I think I would move that to that space back here behind the back door. That way, as soon as I come in, I can sit down, take my shoes off, and hang everything up right there. Something you could talk to the manufacturer about doing. I'm sure you probably could. Then you could put a linen closet there instead. Now coming off your laundry room, you've got an entrance to your bathroom. Hello Raiden. Nice size cabinet here, or nice set of cabinets I should say. Nice counter space. So far every home I've toured here has these square porcelain sinks. It's a nice feature to see. we got a big shower tub combo here, one piece. You can see just how big that tub is. So as I said, there's your laundry room. 
can come out of that. You can either come into your guest bathroom from either the laundry room or from the hallway here. I was trying not to give too much away here, but uh, this is going to be your fourth bedroom. I'll put up dimensions for the bedrooms once I get the uh, floor plans, like I always do. Still get a decent sized closet here. Now as we come out of this fourth bedroom, now we'll show you what I've been trying to keep hidden. Really nice, really big den. As you can see this den goes a little bit over we're a little bit past halfway through the home. There's your marriage line right there. So this would be where you'd probably want to set up your TV up on that wall. Put your surround speakers back over there. Lots of storage space over here. Put all your stuff there. Pretty hungry, got popcorn. All right. Now let's go take a look at your uh, master bedroom down here. Keep in mind, these are the uh, darker gray colors on the walls here with the blue accents. If you don't like the colors, you can always get the colors changed. So coming into the master bedroom, there is no light in here. So uh, you can see you've got lots of natural light coming into your master bedroom. Those two transom windows above your bed there. I like the fact they put them transom windows instead of windows that run the full length down. Because you can definitely put just about any size bed you want in there. Of course, they are making it a little harder to get the shot. There we go. Big master bedroom. Nice little ceiling fan. And so now we'll come into your master bathroom. Lots of storage space, lots of counter space. They continue on that really nice flooring through here. Dual mirrors, got light above each mirror. Instead of having a big old vanity light, you got one above each mirror. Big old soaker tub, nice window above it. Now the camera doesn't do these tubs justice in showing how deep they are. Back here is going to be your water closet. Really kind of isolate yourself back here. There's your shower. If you wanted to, you can option in a tile. Not the biggest shower, but definitely option in a, a tile shower there. I can tell you right now that bar, a little bit low there. Because I would have to duck to get into that. I think I would definitely have to put a different uh, or a taller door on that. I don't know how many times I'd knock my head on that if it was, uh, if I was getting in and out. I have a shed that uh, has a low entrance bar there and I tend to knock my head at least once a week going in and out of there. So you got a good sized closet here. Once again, this has the wire racks. If you wanted to option in the uh, wooden racks, you could. So 
So hopefully you've liked this video. Hopefully you liked what you've seen. If you have, don't forget to uh, reach down there, smash that like button. While you're there, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. What you like, what you dislike. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, your family. I'm sure somebody out there would really enjoy seeing this home. So this is Nate with Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. We will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.